out. So this video, if you're watching it today, is file your taxes by April 15th. That's today, file your taxes. And most more importantly is if you don't file your taxes and you file for an extension, you still need to pay your taxes. And so I'll talk to you, a common issue that comes up with a lot of small business owners and business owners is many of them will be taxed as an S corp, which is a common way for a small business owner that's running an owner operated business. So for example, my law firm, this is my primary source of income. This is where I spend all my time and do all my work. I take a portion of my compensation as a salary and that's a normal W-2. It goes through a payroll company. We do withholdings. Um, a, a mistake that many people make is you don't do enough withholdings. So you can actually adjust your amount of withholdings and my recommendation is withhold more rather than less. It's better not to pay penalties and interest or to get hit with what I like to call the April surprise. The April surprise is you're not ready for it and then you prepare your taxes or your accountant prepares your taxes and you get sticker shock of how much money you actually owe. And so for me and for most small business owners, you should have a CPA and what you should do is at least twice a year, you need to be checking in with your CPA and say, hey, just, just can you give me a heads up? Now what you're supposed to do, and I say supposed to do because not all business owners do it and I'll be honest, I haven't done it every time, is you're supposed to make quarterly estimated payments. So that means once a quarter, every 90 days, you're supposed to log into the IRS website and you're supposed to make a payment connecting it to your bank account. And it's an estimated payment. And again, what, what, if you do it correctly, and let's call it say 30% of whatever your profit is. So if you do it correctly, then when April comes along, sometimes you'll get a refund. Sometimes you'll owe a little bit, but you'll never get the April surprise. So let me tell you a true story about the April surprise. Small business owner owns a law firm, they're taxed as an S corp, and they don't have any of these regular meetings with their CPA, they have no idea how much profit they're making, they're not really good with the numbers, they're not really good with keeping track with the bookkeeping, and so finally they get all their ducks in a row, they get organized in March, and then the CPA says, okay, I need $150,000 for the IRS. And they were like, what? And they're like, I, I don't have that lying around, and it's like, well, that's based on last year's profit, and, and there's another problem. For an S Corp, you're taxed based on the profit, not based on what you put in your pocket. So if the company makes $100,000 profit, but you only take $20,000 for yourself, you still have to pay taxes on the total 100. And that can be a problem, especially if you have business partners and that's when things can get complicated. So what my partner and I do is we do quarterly uh, distributions of profit. And then what I do is I go to the IRS website and I do 30% paying, prepaying my taxes for next year. Because what ends up happening is my salary is only about 10% of my annual earnings. And so that other 90%, unless you're doing withholding, you're gonna get the April surprise. And I actually have a true story. So I go to this accountant, not my current accountant, and I say to him, hey, I want my taxes done in February. I wanna be done, peace of mind. I wanna write the check to the IRS and I wanna just be done. And I wanna be having a scotch on April 15th. And so we do that, we have the meeting in February, I write a check, the taxes are done, the tax returns are done, and I'm literally at the barber shop, I'll never forget, and the guy's cutting my hair, my phone rings, it's my accountant on April 15th, and I pick up the phone and I say, hey, what are you, uh, what's going on? And he goes, hey, can you come by the office with a check for $72,000? And I was like, what, am I, am I on the candid camera? Like, am I being punked? Like, what, what are you talking about? And he says, yeah, good news, our system worked. We decided to double check your return before we filed it. I'm like, wait, hold on a second. I thought we filed it back in February. He goes, no, 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 we, we, we were gonna file it today anyways, and so we were gonna wait and let there be a final review. And so they do the final review and realize that he forgot to add in all my profit. He was basing my tax return just off my W-2, which, uh, which was the mistake that was made in February. So yay, the mistake was caught before the taxes were filed. Well, I fired him on the spot. I said, you're fired, you're no longer my accountant. And I called the guy who's my current accountant and I go, hey, can you file an extension for me right this second? And I want you to redo my tax return because I don't trust this guy because how could you make that type of mistake? So again, you wanna prepay your taxes. You wanna make sure that you file by April 15th. You wanna make sure you pay by April 15th. And if you file an extension, that still means your taxes are due on April 15th. And then you have until October 15th to do the paperwork. And hopefully you guys are getting refund checks instead of owing more money in April. No more April surprises. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and good luck. And hopefully no one owes too much money to the IRS.